Continuing coverage now of the fire. We've been telling you about that burned a building of significance in the historic west side. The Newtown Tavern burned Sunday. Yeah, that, pro that property is from the 1950s. It was considered abandoned following years as a casino and also a gathering spot really for the black community. Neighbors now questioning the circumstances surrounding the fire, especially after the building sign was removed in August. The location also where a developer wants to put a Harlem themed resort. Kristen Drummond is live by the corner of Jackson and F Street with the very latest on this investigation. Kristen? Well, Jim and LaToya, the building is considered a total loss by firefighters, but many in the community we've seen even out tonight coming by to look at this devastation. And today, a public works crew with the city of Las Vegas also came out here to start cleaning up the mess from the fire that was not only on the sidewalk, but also in the street. Heavy construction equipment picks up what's left of the new town tavern to clear the sidewalk of the fire debris from Sunday. A scenario all too familiar for neighbors in this community. I'm like, here we go again. This is not the first building that's burned down on the west side. Do you feel like there have been a number of fires over the last few years? Yes, in particular, like on the west side. You know. So I don't understand it. Las Vegas Fire and Rescue not responding to News 3's request Tuesday about the number of recent fires in the historic west side, a three and a half square mile neighborhood. But Lisa Mayo, project consultant for Harlem Nights, a new hotel and casino proposed for the tavern property, tells me it's a lot. We've had like 52 fires in our community in the last four years. So, you know, fires happen here and things go away. And if we can bring shed light on the other historical situation with fires in this community, we will be very happy to do that. Some noticing a coincidence between the Newtown Tavern circumstances and the former Moulin Rouge on Bonanza, the first racially integrated hotel and casino in Las Vegas, now demolished following devastating fires. Signs from both properties removed before a fire. First, the historic sign gets taken down and then there's a fire. And so people who remember the Moulin Rouge understand exactly it happened the same way. Where did it go? I'd like to know too. The city of Las Vegas now in possession of the tavern's casino sign. A spokesperson says Metro Police located it on Jackson Avenue by the building in August, unsure how it fell off the roof. A public works crew picked it up. Now the property owner can reclaim it anytime. Uh, I don't believe it just fell down. Uh, it had been there for quite some time and there was no indication that it was a safety hazard to the people in the community. David Reed doubting the situation as crews removed the tavern's now charred history. Never in my wildest dreams that I think it would burn. As for the cause of this fire, it is still under investigation. Now, Mayo, who works with the developer who wants to build the Harlem Nights Resort here on this property, tells me that the developer does plan on reclaiming the sign and plans to donate it. And as I mentioned in the story, we did reach out to Las Vegas Fire and Rescue about the number of fires that have happened in the historic west side. Well, right now there is a public records request in for that information, but again, no, nothing new regarding that tonight. Just click below and subscribe to News 3. You'll get more stories that affect your community.